Hey guys, it's Fifu Ali here and welcome to another video with the Pele squad I was able to play with a few weeks back thanks to JP Flathead for letting me try out his Pele. And if you didn't watch the original video, be sure to pause this video, go and check that out, that out and then come back here. Because in the last video I kind of more talked about the squad, the players and showed off some goals. But in this video, it's all about the best goals I scored with the squad. Because I did mention in the last video with, the, with this squad that I had a bunch more goals which were a whole lot better and that is kind of what you will be seeing the next few minutes and the original thought with these goals was to put them into a goals compilation and make that into a 200,000 subscriber special but unfortunately I did not have the time to do that so instead I decided to go with a stream instead for a sort of a 200,000 subscriber special and I'll probably also upload the highlights to YouTube at some point in time but this stream will most likely be next week weekend after I'm done with my final exam and it will either be Friday evening or Saturday or something like that I'll of course give some more information during the week once and uh, know the exact time I'll be doing it but uh, yeah then we had all these goals and I didn't really want them to go to waste in some way because this is probably some of the best goals I scored on the game so they're definitely worth going up on YouTube and and uh, yeah, while they roll over the screen, I'll be talking about a few different things things on my channel. Because, well, at the moment, I see it as I got two different groups of people watching my videos. I have the people who watch the last FIFA 13 series where I kind of build expensive skill squads and played in the cups and tried to get awesome goals. And then I kind of have the people who enjoy watching me kind of going through the divisions, uh, starting from scratch and... Just, uh, yeah, kind of the entire journey of making your way into the Vision 1. And in some way, I kind of want to please both groups. But in some way, there's always one that is going to be disappointed. Because the way I play now if, with, for example, the last FIFA 14 series is that I, of course, try to skill now and then. But I do not really have the extremely expensive skill squads as last year. And at the same time, I do not do as many skills. I play a little bit more to win, as you probably could see from the last video as well. And then the people who watched last year, they get a little bit disappointed because it's far from as entertaining the gameplay maybe as last year, uh, less FIFA 13 series. And then if I changed around, transferred over a bunch of coins and built the expensive squads and made my way through the two final divisions, then I feel like I would let down the other people watching the series in some sort of way. Those who kind of enjoy me see starting from scratch and just playing to win and that kind of stuff. So... What I've been doing is I started up the World Cup series as well because there I could kind of just play and try and score cool goals and kind of make up for the fact that I don't get as many cool goals in the in the less FIFA 14 series this time around. But of course they are not out as often as the episodes were with less FIFA 13 last year and I, I, like it's just very very difficult to please both sets of, sets of people. So what kind of my thought is is to finish off kind of the run into Division 1, pick up the title and kind of end off the first season in some way with the last FIFA 14 series on the PlayStation 4 and then we'll start up a new season in some way but it will not be based on the divisions, it will be more based on the cups and we'll probably get some sort of a key signing in again, maybe one of the better 5 star skillers and then we'll apply a few different rules which will make it possible to get coins somewhat faster and be able to build some of the more entertaining squads and go into those specific tournaments that are released every now and again to kind of get back to that less FIFA 13-esque feeling in some way and at the same time kind of have a progression where we keep on improving our squad by building but it will go a little bit faster than just playing in the in the division so that was kind of the stuff I wanted to talk about I probably had a bunch more stuff on my mind but unfortunately I did not have any more goals to talk over so I hope you could kind of understand what I tried to get out despite it might being a bit of a ramble and that will pretty much be the end of the video guys I hope you did enjoy the goals and all that good stuff and that is pretty much all thank you for watching and I will talk to you later